Hi guys, I thought I'd have a wee chat about my bod. Now we all know I love fitness, I love working out, I love boxing, I know, but, blah, blah, blah. but I love it. I know a lot of you watch my channel because of sex and boobs, but listen up people. Believe it or not, there's more to me. I know, shocking. So it's been about a year now since I started boxing and my body has changed so much. I know it sounds ignorant and naive, but when I first got into boxing, I honestly never gave what it would do to my body a second thought because I was just loving doing it so much, so that was my driving force. But obviously if you box or whatever exercise you choose to do about four or five times a week, that's gonna have an effect on your body. I know you know this, but I didn't quite realize how much. I was always fine with my body, I played netball once a week, I walked everywhere, I had a few hang-up areas which I didn't love but I kind of just accepted them. And I won't lie, I am lucky, I have always been slim, my body's just built that way really. I was a gymnast as a child and then I got into athletics and then I got into modelling. I think I was about 16 in this photo, I know 16 sounds young to you to model but when I got into it 16 was actually the lowest age you could start modelling. Anyway, as I got older, I discovered alcohol and I didn't really care what I ate that much, probably because I was so drunk all the time. Then as I got into my 20s, I had a normal figure for a 20 something, I guess. Clearly all that drinking went to my boobs and I never got them back. That was how it was for about 10 years, I'd say. I look back at pictures now and I can't really, I can't really relate to that girl anymore. She drinks a fair bit. She thinks she's being healthy by eating low calorie yogurt and diet cereal bars. Little did she know they were full of absolute crap. I hated my love handles, like I hated wearing tight jeans. I remember that and I think actually I felt like that up until the point I started exercising. Having three sisters was definitely interesting because you know, girls are girls and you do compare yourself and your body to the people you're around the most, which were my three sisters. And I was always, always the skinniest one and I loved it. I do know that sounds totally wank by the way, but that is how I felt. I don't know whether that was society's influence on me, magazines I was reading, or growing up in a female dominated household. And I remember there was a tipping point. God, I'm being really honest here. There was a tipping point where Jessica lost quite a lot of weight and she was thinner than me and I hated it. I'd lost my title and I hated it. I do want to punch myself in the face for thinking that, by the way, but that is how I felt. We're getting onto the good bit, don't worry. Then I started boxing and it only took a few months for me to notice a bit of a difference because when you are slimmer, it's a bit easier to <clears throat> gain muscle because when you're working out, you don't have to kind of break through the fat before you get to the muscle. So yeah, it was about three months, I think, and people started to make comments. Like, Mate, you're looking good. Or check you out. Or are they guns? And I hadn't really noticed at all, because there I wasn't, obviously as I said at the beginning, I wasn't looking out for that. But also, you know when you kind of look in the mirror every day and you see yourself every day, you don't often see changes that other people see in you? But boy, did my body change. I developed muscles in places I didn't think possible. And it's actually had such a positive effect on me. A lot more than I thought it would. I feel amazing. I feel so strong. I feel like if someone was to start a fight with me, they would be in for some serious trouble. I mean, that's also because I'm getting pretty good at boxing. Although a guy did say to me yesterday when he saw me carrying boxing gloves, are they yours? Oh, a girl. Who boxes? Sorry, what, what's that? Uh, oh, oh, that's the Victorian era calling. I also feel very comfortable in my own skin. Like, all my life, I've been working up to feeling like this. And the ironic thing is, it all came from a breakdown. That's why I started working out. I am so body confident now, and I honestly couldn't give a crap if any of my sisters are thinner than me. Like, I just don't care because I'm so comfortable. I'm so embarrassed those thoughts ever cross my mind. So embarrassed. Sometimes my sisters are like, oh, you got your abs out again. Oh, is Emily wearing a short dress? And I got nothing. It's true. I do get my body out a lot. My body is like a badge for me. It signifies my motivation, my hard work, and me turning my life around after my breakdown. People would often talk about being comfortable in their own skin and I was like, Mate, I'm so comfortable in my own skin. But I wasn't. 
and I know that because I am now. And that's a really nice feeling. No comparing. This is just me. So how do you all feel about your bodies? I mean, we're in our bodies for quite a while, so we might as well try and like them. And it doesn't matter if you're thin, curvy, muscly, skinny. It's about how you feel about yourself and your body that matters, nothing else. For example, some people would hate to develop muscle where I have. Wait, I'll show you. Obviously, because of boxing, you use your arms a lot. So I've developed, like, quite solid <laughs> muscles, yeah, on my upper body. And some people would hate that, and they wouldn't feel happy, but I do, so, yeah. So don't listen to anyone else, apart from me when I tell you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, don't listen to anyone else. So thanks for listening, guys. Um, I hope you found this video interesting. If there are any other topics you want me to talk about, hit me up down below. I'll also post my Patreon link down below. I don't want to go into it because I'm doing a video about it, but oh, YouTube, I mean, it is very financially stressful at the moment. Anyway, yeah, if you fancy helping me out, I'll leave my Patreon link. Have a good day, everyone. I need to put a top on. Bye.